the vast majority of the body's trillions of cells are differentiated, meaning they have taken on specialized properties and functions, and have lost the ability to generate cells of other types. Skin, muscle, blood, bone, and the nervous system are all made up of populations of differentiated cells. There is another type of cell, however, that remains less differentiated and retains its ability to give rise to other cell types. These cells are known as stem cells. Stem cells exhibit two characteristics not found in more differentiated cells. By definition, stem cells are able to divide and make copies of themselves indefinitely, a capacity known as self-renewal. This endless power of division is not limited to creating more stem cells, however. They can also give rise to a wide range of mature cell types. These unique characteristics make stem cells indispensable, both for replenishing the body's cells as they age and are lost, and for constructing the body itself from a tiny number of cells during development. Even after the embryo has grown into an adult, many of the body's cells continually die off and need to be replaced. For example, billions of red blood cells need to be replaced each day. This is the work of stem cells known as hematopoietic stem cells, which are located in the bone marrow. Residing in a complex cellular environment, the hematopoietic stem cell is able to generate precursors to every type of blood cell. And indeed, these stem cells have been used by physicians for decades to replenish patients' blood supplies following radiation treatment for cancer. The stepwise differentiation of a stem cell's progeny depends on combinations of genetic and environmental factors that gradually steer these cells into following a specific lineage.